there may or may not be details let out, so watch at your own risk, Etika, Etika, you know the drill. <laughs> Drug enough to fall back. They were probably up at the karaoke thing. Yeah, I think they were the ones that were screaming before he came out. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was this dude who was screaming real loud. He was talking, I think, the DJ, who, was, who wasn't even, <laughs> like, really, like, that loud. Like, the music wasn't super loud. The dude screaming like it was, like, a freaking rave night times two. <laughs> It's like you need not... to clean your windows. I know. I meant to do that. Oh, to do it today. Well, technically today's Sunday. So not now Monday. it's Sunday. Yeah. Now it's yesterday was right. Saturday. Yeah, I know. I thought it was Sunday. <laughs> like I don't know my days. Just like, just like, just like tomorrow's Thursday. Yes. <laughs> stop sign. Look. I'm feeling like they did good. They did good. Uses the stop sign. <laughs> I'm just like. All right, go. We saw Suicide Squad in 3D. 3D. It was. You said you said right before we walked out. You're like, I'm summarizing this one. Oh my god, I am. All right. Go ahead. All right. All right. So it starts with B movie villains. A good old like uh, montage of them. You have Harley Quinn. You have Will Smith, who's supposed to be Deadshot, but I'll call him Will Smith because I I don't I don't think Deadshot was. That shot might have been black. I'm not sure. I don't know all the B movie villains. Uh, I don't know. There was Killer Croc, who was the crocodile one that we didn't know who it was in the trailer. There was there was Diablo, who I have no idea what he's from, but he's from the DC universe. These are all DC, by the way. It's not Marvel. It's DC. Um, and uh, some Australian guy. He didn't see him all that impressive. He just threw a boomerang. His name was the No, he threw sharp boomerangs. Thank you very much. Okay, so he's sharp. So he's like, so he's like, he, I don't even know what he's from. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely sharp boomerangs. I just don't, don't know what he's from, though. Um, okay, and then went through the montage of seeing them all. Yeah. Um. Well, you didn't see them all, because there's also this one dude who used, uh, Oh yeah, there was this one guy. He's who, like, pretty much 3D maneuver gear. Yeah, but but he'd, but he'd, he 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 was, tried to run and got he died. Yeah, his head I blew up. Yeah, they didn't even show him. They only showed him after. Okay. Yeah, so, he um, wasn't part of the villain montage. Yeah, he was. Well, yeah. All right. So they show all those guys, and then you see Batman. Or no, it shows you how Harley Quinn and what was it, Deadshot? Sorry, Will Smith. I'm trying to remember which ones they showed in the beginning, how they got caught. How they got caught? It yeah, showed, it, was... it showed, it didn't show the croc. Yeah, it didn't show Killer Croc. It, sh I know it, sh showed, it showed Harley Quinn. It showed Harley Quinn, it showed Diablo. Oh, Ooh. that's it. And then it showed Deadshot, I'm pretty and sure. And Deadshot. Okay, Harley, Qu Harley Quinn got caught because she was with the Joker and Joker decided to go for a swim. And then it, he and then, put his car flew off a bridge. Yeah. Well, no, actually, he drove his car yeah, off. Yeah, he a drove bridge. a car off his bridge. And then Batman, they were chased by Batman. Who would have thought? And then Batman jumped in the water, saved Harley Quinn, kissed her, and then he gave her mouth to mouth, and he but, saved but, her because he needed to take her to prison. Yeah. Thing is, though, the way that he did it, it looked so it looked much like, like they were making, making out. out. I know, right? And then uh, they showed Batman, and then they showed Batman also get, he also got dead shot. Batman also got dead shot. Yeah. Just by, well, he was killing some guy. And then dead shot was out with his daughter, and- Dang it! <laughs> Clefairy got away. Look, don't, you're just gonna, that's just gonna drop until like it's looking at the ground. So dead, it's not dropping at all. So dead shot got caught because his daughter, <clears throat> Got in front of him when he was about to shoot Batman, and then he gave up. Yes. And then Diablo got caught because Diablo he, he didn't get up. caught. He gave yeah, up. Yeah, he. Because he accidentally killed his wife and kids, so he gave up. Yeah, which is kind of neat. He's look okay, and then I thought it was shot someone else because he shot the Flash. Who got? Oh, it was the Australian guy. He got oh, caught yeah, by the Flash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they showed the Flash for literally like 15 seconds. And then that's it. That's all you saw of the Flash. He never came back. And I don't know. Which Apparently, the Flash is in Australia. 
Oh, and also Superman died. In the beginning, Superman apparently died. Dang it, Venonat! <laughs> Look, you can't get it. We're going too fast. And then, um, they went through and then they, and then they, they, uh, they, they, uh, shot a tracker, basically. Or it was like a little mini bomb into their neck. They put a little mini bomb that oh, was mean. like a hand grenade into their neck. So oh, if they oh, ran oh, like that yeah, one well, 3D maneuver bomb. gear did, they would blow their head off. By the way, when they said the force of a hand grenade, I'll, I'll, it looked like all it did was he got a little spark on the side of his head. When they say hand grenade, I expected him to lose his head clean. Like, I expected his head to be off. The dude's head was off. No. Yeah, huh? No, it was still on. No. -uh. Yeah, it was. It was blown off. Nah, I think it was on. They Who blew cares? his neck apart. His head wasn't hanging nah, on. The, 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 nah. Alright, um... And then the... I'm done with Pokemon, because I only have eight Pokeballs left. You need to buy some more. Or go to Urban or buy some more. Really dude. Um... Because, and then, oh yeah, there was this other one, the Enchantress, who I think is DC, I don't know if she's DC, she might be, I think she is, I remember hearing about her somewhere. Then again, the people at work also kind of wanted to see this, so they sort of talked about it. And apparently she wanted to, for no reason, kill everyone. They, because they imprisoned her, they worshipped her, they stopped worshipping her, and then she brought her brother back. Wait, then, wait, wait, wait. You got to explain a little bit more. Oh, I'm sorry. They sorta, used to I'm, worship I'm, I'm, her. Yeah. It, like m thousands I, of years ago. Okay, she looked like she was from like the Incan. So like back when people wore like the really weird flappy long skirt thing. Well, it also did say she was 6,000, really? 600 yeah, like something years old. 300 years old. Yeah. yeah. So they used to worship her thousands of years ago. But then they stopped, so she wanted to take over the world again. Like, make like, everyone yeah. worship them. Yeah, so she so, and, and apparently her idea to her taking over the world to make everyone worship her was to kill everyone. Yeah. Which, what... Uh, Pretty much create her own army, too. Yeah, which, I don't... Uh, so that she also got help from her brother, who... Yes, yeah, she brought her brother back to life. Were, because the two were trapped in statues. Well, she also brought her brother back to life because she needed his power to stay yeah. alive at first. Yeah, at first. Because they had her heart. The Enchantress's yeah. heart. And that was what they were using to keep her in line because they could kill her by stabbing the thing like 20 times. It took a lot of stabs, apparently. And then she went rogue. Once she got her brother... No, yeah, once she got her brother back, she then went rogue. And, yeah. uh... Because her brother was keeping her alive. Yeah. And then she went to some place that I don't know where it was. It was... Do you even know where it was set? They were in a subway, I believe. I mean, like, um, city no. wise. You don't know what... No, they left the subway. Yeah, I mean... Where I'm were they, they? I'm not sure. It was... I remember the name Midway, but I don't... I, I don't actually know where it was set location-wise. I'm guessing New York. It looked like either New York or... It wasn't L.A., that was obvious. I'm I mean, guessing uh, it was New York. Probably New York, maybe, I don't know, San, some, some big, like, really big city with tall buildings. So New York is probably choice number one, yeah. Um, oh, bad dead animal. Um, and then, you know, there's some beam, all special effects, boom, boom thing. And she was using some beam to get her power, and she made her own army of what looked like, uh... Wait, wait. The beam was used to kill everyone. It wasn't used to get well, her power. Well, it, okay, it was collecting power then. That's what I meant to say. It was collecting uh, power. Through, smells like a skunk so, got ran over. Yeah, that's why I said disgusting dead. There's a nice dead skunk. And that and and so she made an army of what were barnacle <laughs> people? Basically, they were made of a ton of like I don't know what what would they be. It looks like they as? came from underwater. They were, they were like those things, they were like, um, I can't really say they're from Pirates of the Caribbean, because Pirates of the Caribbean look like things, though. Um, they look like they were just a bunch of barnacles in the shape of a person, who also oh, had to use guns. For, for some reason, I'm thinking that it looked like, um, that one guy in Pirates of the Caribbean. Davy Jones? 
You know when, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, try I I'm trying to. When, uh, pirate, pirate, <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, um. You mean the guy attached to the wall? No, the guy that got his, the guy that his head popped off. He was, he was like a shellfish. Oh, yeah, it was like a shellfish or something? Yeah, like, that's yeah. what it kind of looked like. Because, like, yeah, the but, face was all, like, yeah. rolled up like a shell type yeah. of thing, but if, it Yeah, if you took the shellfish, shell. if you took the shellfish off and just made the entire face, including eyes and stuff, that same texture, you basically had him. Yeah, that was basically, that's a good example. And so it was a group of regular guys. You want me to drop you off, by the way? Because we're going to be driving for a little bit. You just want me to drop you off? No, it's okay. Okay. And um, it was a bunch of it was a bunch of army marine guys who were apparently the Jesus of humans because like they didn't die until the end, and then the Suicide Squad, which were Harley Quinn and Wait, wait, who? Huh? Who? The Marines that were with Flag was his name. I think Flag was yeah, the main guy. Yeah, them. And a bunch of other guys. They didn't really die in Well, they kind of had two teams, because there was, like, the Marines. Oh, yeah. But then there was, like, a group that Flag had, like, called in to help them, I guess. I don't know, because I think there were two teams. There was the Marines oh, and yeah. some other, like, the, I can special ops. Yeah, I can explain the other team. What happened with the other team was they got caught. Yeah, and they were what, sent off, and they split up. And they got caught, and then they got turned into more of those things. Apparently, everything is done by... Every, there's all sorts of kissing in this, because the, the Enchanters transform people by kissing them into whatever they were. Yeah. So, apparently, everything in the world is done by kissing in the DC Universe. Really weird. And, um... There was only one kissing scene that had well, to do with... Well... Oh, that well, the other kissing scenes was Joe Batman. The Batman was giving Harley Quinn mouth to mouth, and that looked like a kissing scene. And, and then, then Joker Har and Harley Quinn. Yeah, like every time you saw them, they were like locking lips so hard. It was I didn't really like the stupid. Joker. Okay, I didn't like him. I don't know who they got to do the costumes for the Joker or the Batman, but they really suck. Okay, Batman wasn't half bad. He, he it could have been done better, but it wasn't half bad because you barely saw him. I'm, I'm, but the Joker, I'm, he was so bad. The makeup was bad. I didn't like the actor that did him. Can I, okay, I'm, I'm gonna give a slight bit. This is for, holy shit, what was that? I don't know. I wasn't looking at the road. <laughs> Some really, it looked like a possum was just on the road having a fucking seizure. <laughs> and I think I missed it because we don't have dead smell on us. We should put like the camera attached up to here or something. Well, that's, that's why like, I, I want to see if there's a dashboard cam. But okay, the Batman costume looked like if your slightly higher than average person did a cosplay, so it was pretty good, right? Yeah. But the Joker one looked like if someone had to do it in a week and they just like got things together. That's basically the equivalent of what they both look like. It was. It really wasn't that good. Let's go this way. It, it was really wasn't that good. The costume choices were absolutely terrible. Even for all the other guys, even for the main, because Harley Quinn was dressed in a shirt and Dixie shorts, basically. Leather Dixie shorts the whole time. You know what they were? What? They were really, really short booty shorts. No, they, that's basically booty shorts, honestly. No, but they were shorter than short. So they were like your, so they were like your, uh, poser booty shorts. The ones you're trying too hard, the try-hard booty shorts. They're like little girl booty shorts on a, an adult. Yeah, it's much. weird. They're like on like two sizes, two small booty shorts. It was, it was horrible. By the way, at every angle that had her, they had it angled in such a way, by the way. But that's side the point. All the other ones, they had just like, shirt. That was just like, that was the most of it. They had a shirt and pants and that was it. They, there really wasn't much when it came well, to... Well, the croc really... The the one croc guy... Killer croc. Yeah, he really couldn't have anything because he just had all this... Yeah, who... Detail all over yeah, him. He looked that, like a crocodile. That was actually then, really good, yeah, but... And then Deadshot, he had a costume himself. But the boomerang guy, he didn't have a costume. Diablo didn't. Diablo he, didn't have a he costume. He had makeup, though. Makeup but he was, was covered cool. in tattoos. Yeah, makeup, but that was really cool, though. I, th I think Diablo is my favorite character out of the whole thing. Especially because he turns into, like, 
temporary Super Saiyan at the end, which is really great, but we're not even there. We did. I like Deadshot. Um, I like Holly Quinn. Of course you did, be quiet. <laughs> well, what about the Samurai? Oh yeah, Samurai Lady. There was also a Samurai Lady. I, no, I liked her better than Holly no, Quinn. No, be quiet. Probably. Yeah, they had Samurai Lady. Which apparently was working for the good guys. Yeah. Who had like a sword from like Seraph of the End that absorbed people. Yeah. She didn't really have a costume either. She was just wearing like a jacket with a mask on. Yeah. She just had like a crappy which plastic I, mask on. Which I think was actually her look in DC though. I think yeah. that actually was her look in DC, so it's really not that, you know, horrible. So the only one I think Deadshot was close to his, except, like I said, I don't know what Deadshot looked like underneath his costume. His costume... His costume was right, but I'm not sure what he does look like yeah. underneath. Harley Quinn's was wrong for the most part, because they could... They actually... In the beginning, they actually had her sort of, like, one costume where she was the, um... Where she was her, uh, what's it thing? What is it? Um, the, uh... Oh, what did she call it? Wasn't... It wasn't the Joker. It was like, uh... It was like a cloud, but it was like a... F I know there's like a name for it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, whatever. Whatever, her normal costume... You're gonna costume, spend forever yeah. thinking about that. They had her normal costume. She, she was the she, black and red checkered costume. Yeah, she brought it out and was like, put it on, and like, oh, this looks nice, and then got in something that was completely different. So yeah. it was really easy. They just wanted to have some sort of, like, back to forth that, hey, this is Harley Quinn, look at this, but we don't care. So... Like, basically from, I'd say, from 45 minutes to... By the way, this is a two-hour movie. Long movie. Two hours and ten minutes. Uh, yeah, including credits, two hours and ten minutes. Um, if Basically, 45 minutes to an hour and 45, or an hour and a half, is like... Them shooting the weird bacteria guys, or whatever you want to call them. The barnacle guys, just for that whole time. Just different... Just different places, but they're still shooting them, and that's really it. They're explaining the backstory in between a little bit. Like, they don't really explain the Killer Croc. They just, you know... Yeah, he was they just didn't a explain thing. the Killer Croc either. I think he was, like, an experiment. Like, if we're going by DC, I believe DC had, um... Like, Doctor... The Octopus guy and stuff. I think he was just an experiment. Something like that. I but, actually um, want to look this up real quick. <laughs> And Diablo, they went to him a little bit, not much. He killed his pet. He, because he got angry, he killed his... He, he set his house on fire, killed his family. And then Deadshot didn't do nothing. He just had a bad time, so he started killing people. He killed people, he had a bad time, got divorced, and killed more people. Uh, well, Harley, he was doing that for money. Yeah, Harley Quinn... They tried to give her an emotional sort of arc because they had it to where she thought uh, so the Joker... They thought the Joker had died. They made a little scene like, oh my god, the Joker died sort of thing. I was hoping the Joker did die. I was hoping that too. Because for the whole time, you're thinking, oh, the Joker died. First of all, that would be a really cool... I mean, we know this isn't canon. This obviously is not canon to DC, to DC Universe. But it would be really cool if they did have the Joker die. And she had some little arc thing going on. It was kind of cool. In the end, the Joker came back saved her really stupid yep and then the australian guy just went from his cell got out and then went back to his cell really he was he, I, I don't know who he was the he australian was guy didn't really do anything yeah. all he did was stand around and drink monster yeah he, he was basically he, he threw was, a boomerang every now and then but it just got shot down or something yeah he was there well, um, like a boomerang came back once he was a person who like did all the like um what is it um advertising in the movie monster and more monsters. He had like three cats of monster in the entire movie. Um, and then Diablo, when they went through him, um, they, they, all they said about the, about the samurai lady was that her husband died, which she killed him, I think. Is that what they said? She what? killed him, right? Who? The samurai lady. She killed The samurai him. lady didn't kill her husband. Someone killed the samurai lady's husband with the sword she has, but the sword she has contains and captures souls. So she has her husband's soul in the sword she has that someone used to kill her husband with. All right, you got that part, good. Oh, and the Killer Croc is uh, a, is by DC. Yeah. Uh, is an adversary of the superhero Batman. Oh, really? Man, he's not, 
Okay. And now that I'm looking at these images, <laughs> the Killer Croc does not look like anything that was no. in this movie. I know they, I know they all look different than what they should. Yeah. The Killer Croc is supposed to be a lot bigger, he's supposed to be a lot meaner, and he's not supposed to talk like a human, I'm pretty sure. He didn't really talk like a human. Well, yeah, he, he did. He, talked he just like, took, talk, talked like a really he just, beef duff. Beef duff. Beef duffed. A beefed up black guy, basically. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the Joker, I had to notice this, the Joker had, in their movie, all silver teeth. His whole mouth was yeah. silver. It looks like they just took the time and plated his yeah, mouth with I metal. I don't get. I don't get it. You know, how, like you know, how, like some people have like gold teeth. He had iron plated teeth. Yeah, he had some sort of metal in his mouth. Not sure why. And um, I think so did Diablo though. I think I remember Diablo too. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think he had. I thought I thought someone else did, but I could be wrong. I think Diablo might have had like. A Wasn't gold it the tooth. Or... Guy? Nah, he didn't have anything. Yeah, he didn't really have anything special. He was seriously like the Australian guy didn't. All the Australian, like the Australian guy, didn't have any powers or anything. He wasn't really like that bad. All he did was yeah, the most rob he... banks. And... Yeah, he robbed a bank and killed his partner, and and just wanted to take it all for himself. So he was basically. Someone from Grand Theft Auto. So yeah, not every, all that everyone else was serial killers yeah. and like it's, mass yeah. murderers. Yeah, like they controlled things. This guy was just like, I rob people. And it's like, okay, sure. Hey, you're a uh, things fogging up. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to. Don't do that. I'm trying to get this. All right. Be fun. Okay, it'll be unfogged in a second. Oh wow, that's a quick second actually. And then um, it was a second. <laughs> so like the the like half the movie was all just shooting in random places, a lot in buildings. Like there was a lot of it was because it was it was it was a superhero. Wait, uh, there's sorry. something going on down there. Oh crap, that's actually legit. Hold on, I'm <laughs> zooming in. There's police. Look, I don't know. Just keep holding on to this so I can look at this afterwards and see what's going on. So it was like B-rated super villain thing, right? Not even super villain. It was just basically B-rated villain stuff. And so, you know, dead shot shot people. Harley Quinn hit people. Wait, where are they even at? Harley Quinn. I don't hit know. People. It looks like they're getting further and further away. Uh, Please the, stop going. Oh, the, my hand hurts. The killer croc punched people. The Australian guy drank his monster, and the Diablo guy didn't do anything until about halfway through. Well, it's because the uh, the Diablo guy didn't want to do anything because he didn't like his power. Yeah, because he yeah. killed his family. Yeah, because like he said it before, he was the only one who actually had a real power technically. The other ones just had like dead dead shot just had good aim, and Harley Quinn was just Harley Quinn, right? So really, Deadshot was or the sorry. Croc guy was just a mutated monster, yeah, pretty so, much. Yeah, so he, so he just, so he was just really strong. Uh, I think someone just got pulled over. Oh, I love seeing when people get pulled over, but um, oh, wait, did a maybe. truck guy get pulled over? Oh no, they're towing someone. Oh, I think I don't know. Yeah, they're just towing. I'm, I think there was an accident. It, the other guy got off scot free or or drove away like most probably do. No, there were police car, two cars. There was a police car. Two other cars and then a tow truck. Oh god, we gotta wrap this up. This is going for like a long time already. Um, alright. And then at the end, I'm speeding it up because a lot of it is because because it's a DC movie, there's a lot of action, so there's a lot of shooting, there's a lot of hitting, there's a lot of all that stuff, which goes for most of the movie. So at the end, they stop the Enchantress and they save the world. But even though half it already blew up, like 13 places got exploded and Aren't you going to mention the happy ending? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, at the end then, you have the Will Smith guy. He saw his daughter. They talked about things, and then he went back to jail. The Australian guy was yelling at the people because he didn't get anything. Uh, they didn't show He didn't people. ask for anything. He just asked to be let out early. Yeah, Diablo, he, they didn't show him afterwards. The Croc guy, he got a TV, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. That was really good. I would definitely have that. He got a TV and uh, uh, some... Uh, he got like cable, I think. Cable, Actually, yeah, that's yeah, I think it. he got cable in his, in his yeah. which is really good. And um, Harley Quinn, she got an espresso machine. But also, 
she got busted out by the Joker, or at least they, or at least they got in there, they kissed some more, and then it ended. That was, and then they went credits. Uh, I thought you were gonna mention the. No, you're gonna. Enchantress. Oh, oh yeah, happy ending. She lost her enchantress side, and she went back to being a human. And you know, the flag guy and her got together. Whoop do you freaking do, right? It's great. So, so basically, we don't know what happened to Diablo. A straying guy got a bad ending. Deadshot got a good ending. Harley Quinn, we don't know what happened after she got let out. Uh, Croc she didn't got get a let out. She got broke out. Yeah. Uh, Croc got a good ending. Um, and then the Enchantress and Flag got a good ending. So that's basically all the ending of the characters. And now, explain what happened at the end end, by the way. The cre uh, after little, credits. little after seeing credits... Well, the black woman, I don't know her name, <laughs> and either. and uh, Bruce Wayne met up, Batman. <laughs> I was going to say, some people don't know it was Bruce Wayne, it's so weird. They met up, uh, the black woman wanted Batman to do another thing for her. Ah, oh, my fingers hurt. <laughs> uh, you get locked up. Well, it's hard, because I can't cover the mic and my thumb hurts. Uh... The black woman wanted Batman to do something for her. There were three more people he had to go down, or hunt down and get. One of them was the Enchanter, I think. No. No, it was three new people. Yeah, it was why, three why, new why, people. Why would they re-grab? Well, she can't... Well, yeah, she, she knew the Enchantress chick died. Yeah, essentially... Because she walked up to... Yeah, essentially the Enchantress was gone at the end. Yeah. Enchantress oh, okay. basically died. The Enchantress is... Which her heart got smashed and her brother was blown up. Yeah, by, by, well, no, she, funnily enough, oh yeah, Diablo died, that was it. Oh yeah. They, they killed the brother guy by blowing some kind of, basically a mythical being of ungodly power up with mines, right? Hey, that was who we were looking at. Is that a cop car? Oh geez, maybe um, no. No, no, that's no, a that's a little on bar top. on yeah. top. Yeah, that lights up when he stops. Yeah. So the brother guy of ungodly power who destroyed like who had some weird tentacle thing, you can go through all sorts of stuff. He got killed by the equivalent of a frag mine. That was it. And so did it was Diablo. a high powered explosive. Yeah, basically a frag mine. And well then, Diablo sacrificed himself. Yeah. He Diablo pretty much killed himself. Yeah, it sucks, because I, I, I want to see Diablo get really angry and go, like, super, like permanent Super Saiyan. That would have been amazing. But, yeah. And that was... I forgot. That's why Diablo wasn't there. He died. Yeah, I forgot about that. And then, um... So then, all that happened. So that's basically the story. It's the B-movie villains, and they were... They went and helped save the world. So they turned into... Heroes? Wait, what's, what do you mean by B-movie? Because it's like they were below the people, like, you have Batman as the main, Batman and the Joker, right? And yeah. below them would be people like Harley Quinn. Well, why know, couldn't you like say below movie super villains B. or something? That, that's sort of what it is, like, like the A-movie is your, like, main, like, Batman, Superman, Etika. Okay. Your B is, like, your level below that. That's sort of like I a common know. thing. It's weird. Some oh, we can see the weird I've thing in the right I've never heard that, but okay. It's kind of like if you say B, right? Like a B movie, like like something. Never like, heard that. Yeah, probably not. But basically, some people know what it is. And like that's basically, it. and then they go and they turn into heroes in a way, because they save the world. Yay! No, they're thrown back in jail. Yeah, but I mean they. Oh, I don't know. Some kind of road or rodent or something like that. Probably a rat. I don't know. And then, all right, and that's basically, it. and then they save the world, and that's the whole movie. It really, the plot is hor the plot. They also is, had the sequel ending. The se the, yeah, sequel ending. Sequelitis. Sequelitis. Big old movie. So that's 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 the that's the plot. That took a lot of time, but it was really simple because it was sort of like long. Back on. Yes. Awesome. All right. Final ratings. Ratings. You know, it wasn't even Deadpool. I feel like they were trying to do a Deadpool again. I feel like that was it. They were trying to do another Deadpool. And I they did not. They didn't do it. I didn't feel that. Okay, they were trying to do as good as trying to do as good as Deadpool at least then, I guess. Because when Deadpool came out, they did really good. And I guess DC was trying because I think uh, Marvel was Deadpool. So I think DC was trying to put their own sort of you know they were trying to throw in their own movie. 
and this wasn't as good. I, I give it a B. Like, it wasn't bad. The effects were decent, but there were, like, way too many of them, I think. But that's to be expected from nowadays movies. Also, this was a super villain movie, yeah. so... I mean, they could have done something really good with it, but they just didn't. It, like, the action sequences were not bad. The writing was, like, really bad. The writing was, ugh. It was really horrible writing, honestly. It was just... The lines were atrocious. No, I was thinking, like, a B plus. I'm staying with a B, at least not really. You're giving it the plus. You're giving it, you're giving it, so is it, so is it real close to an A. Hey, Megan can rate it, too. Yeah. What do you give it? Um... Basically, it's A through F. Without E. To be honest, probably, like, a B. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I would hope you'd be honest. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. So it passed. It passed better than the last like four movies. That's like a definite. Didn't we give it a initial ratings of a C and a D? Um, yeah. Yeah, sure I gave, gave it a C. Look. I was gonna give it a B at first, but then I gave it a C. Yeah, like it's like it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it still didn't live up to the like the the level of Deadpool. I would say. Deadpool kind of was compare, like yeah. an A, man. Like, like comparing Deadpool was it, cool. Yeah, comparing it, Deadpool was above this, but it was close still. Like, if they did a couple things, they probably could have done it. 